Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am bringing you episode number nine of iCrafting's Wild West. Um, I have now um, harvested again and replanted some of my uh, wheat. I've done a little bit of mining, gotten a little bit more coal, didn't go down too far. I'll come back and do more of that, you know, when I'm off screen. Uh, so I'll have more um, uh, resources for the other things that I'll be needing to do over time here. I have uh, bred some more of the cattle and some more of the sheep and I will be looking for red flowers here before too long so that I can um, dye them red. I actually I can buy the dye from the little guy in town for that matter. Um, all I need is one, uh, one piece and I can dye at least uh, uh, one sheep red and then I'll get red sheep when I breed them. So that'll, that'll be an easy task. So now I have fenced in my first farm, the wheat farm, and I'm going and I have planted some carrots over here in the corner because I wanted to get them started, but as soon as those get ripe, then I will be planting them in this field. And then potatoes will go into uh the other field and I actually I believe I'm gonna have room here. I may have to do a little um maneuvering on my space in order to get the full size over there and I'll definitely have to move the trees but they can go over here instead of where they are now because this face I don't think I haven't counted it out actually but I don't think that's even big enough to do half of the potato farm so I'm going to now go ahead and uh, um, hoe this land out here I should take down these torches first actually just makes it a little easier and it's still daytime even though it is a yeah, it's still, it's like noon, and I'll have this done before then. So I'm just going to go through and take down the close ones anyway. And I have put gates in um, at every watering spot, you know, on every, uh, where they are in line with the watering spots um, around the corner. So that I have two gates on either side, and uh, then I can get into the farm from either directions from all the directions rather and then I can also get over into the other fields from inside here so once I'm in the field and I'm I'm harvesting then I'll be able to um, go from field to field without having to worry about getting out there where the animals are it's easier to, f to uh, fence in the farms than it is to fence in the animals and I'm eventually gonna have to move them all to a barn anyway which I'll probably go like outside of the house over there and uh, you know, add grass and add my barn and uh, give them some water and some hay and all that kind of stuff. And um, being as compulsive as I am, I'll probably end up making a uh, barn for the horses separately from the barn for the others. And I have found out from experience that although long ago, supposedly, uh, it was fixed so that animals are not supposed to be get able to get out through the uh, fences. When you put them in a barn and you're raising them, they tend to suffocate in the walls of the barn. Um, they still absolutely can actually get out of your fences when they get crowded up too. They just tend to push each other through the right through the fence rails, um, and uh, pretty soon you're finding one of your one or more of your animals outside of the the fences. So I have now used up two hoes and I need to go make another one. Um, actually I used up just a bit of a one and another one. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously this is very hard ground. Okay cow, I'm out of, out of my way. Mm -hmm. I had to move a lot of animals out of that field that I'm hoeing now. And I got frustrated with one cow that I couldn't get out of there and I ended up just butchering him mm -hmm. since I had made um, plenty of uh, babies already so I didn't they did okay so I need to make I think I'm gonna go ahead and make four hoes out here what happened to my sticks one two three four and whoop just two three four and get rid of that and I've got my hose and I'll put the sticks away okay hey I got another wheat seed out of that when I was uh, getting rid of that one in there in the the grass in there in the farm area okay Just finish this up get some more of the torches down 
again, once you've hoed the ground, you don't need to worry about lighting it because mobs will not spawn on the hoed ground. Or on the... Uh, oh, I was thinking that I put, that I put them in here. Dirt. Uh, I meant to put my slabs in here. I'll have to come back with the slabs. They won't, uh, they won't spawn on the slabs either. As long as the slabs are on the bottom layer of a block, if you put the slabs up the top layer of a block, then it's just like the top of a regular block and anything will spawn on it that would spawn in a dark area. Animals won't uh, spawn on it because they need grass. But the uh, hostile mobs won't spawn out here even if it's a little bit dark in the middle of the fields. So that's a good thing. And as long as I have the, the borders safe, then, then we're good. Almost ready. And I th actually, I think I'll plant... Oh, there, good. There is a carrot ripe over there, and I'll go ahead and harvest that and plant in here, then. I actually have uh, harvested a couple times there and, and uh, bred the pigs twice, I think. And I have little pigs out there, and more and more pigs. And the only reason that I'm uh, breeding them is just for the food. I, they're not part of a challenge or anything. But uh, the cows, I need the leather to make books so that I can have enchanting and uh, and um, better enchants with the bookshelves. Of course, by the time I finish the map, I may not, I may be, you know, I may not even need them. I can get en some enchanted things actually from the villagers in town, so it's really not not crucial. And I don't, I don't even have any armor on, but I don't really have to do a lot of fighting right now. There's really no place where I have to. You know, I fight the things that I need to get what I want, or, you know, what I need, and yeah, it's not real crucial in this map. Okay, all right, I thought I put the... There they are, duh, they're right there. Okay, now I'll go back and put them on. And I always forget to bring them with me, or I thought I had forgotten it again, because I need to put one there, and I'll come back and do all that. Just put one out. See, and now I'm going to have to get some more water. Arr, because I blew it. I think I have water in here. I can fill it later. Okay, water in. And... Okay. Now put one there and there. And there and there to hook to. And hook to that one. Then I can go ahead and take those off and hoe the ground again, but rather than changing tools, I get them all picked up first. And I have to go around again, but it's just easier this way. All right, now back to the hoeing. Just fill in those spots that I messed up when I put the lids on. Okay, that is all ready. Now because I have the gate here, I can go in here and not have to worry about the gate for the moment. And I can pick up these carrots and get a couple more. And, oh, I don't want to plant them there anyway. I'll just pick them up and go take them over here. And I'll go ahead and start in this corner. There we go. Four carrots planted now instead of two. All right. So then the next thing that I have to do, and I'm going to need some more fences to do it, I have a little bit more, I can, but I can make more. I have plenty of materials to make more. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and cut these trees down. This is going to be interesting, getting up here and getting all these uh, trees out. And what I usually do when I come in here into a full uh, bunch of trees like this is just make stairs. And climb up. I don't know how many other trees there are here that have gone up so high, but we'll just start with these. And then start going up from here, and I'll catch everything that's on the levels where I'm at, and then as I come down, I'll be able to catch the rest of them. So this way, I have a better chance of getting up higher without having to climb around in leaves that are already beginning to uh, decay. And there are a lot of these big trees here. Just make sure that I don't have any more branches over there. 
Okay, catch these. I can catch more of those as I come down. Get the ones that are up above first. Okay. And go up. A little bit more. And go this way. That's one reason I like to plant them all together, because you can you don't have to move around and you can catch all the top parts without having to go up and down more than once. You just get what you can as you go up and get the stuff that you can when you come down. Just one time. Unless, of course, you miss one. <laughs> and then you still have to go up again. But hopefully I won't have to do that. Make sure that I get this area here. Get some of the ones up here, but I'm going to go up a little further anyway, just to make sure. Okay, got another axe here. Oh, should have made some more axes before I came up here too. So I'm going to go through them in a hurry. Looks like maybe it was just a couple of the tall ones, not not as many as I thought it was going to be. And that's good. Makes it a little easier. Don't see anything else up there. catch those from the ground. That's not a problem. Uh, yeah. Okay. Catch this one. Okay. Uh, I think I can probably reach all those from the ground. Get these up here, these stray branches that are all out there. need to hop up on these just to check up here just to make sure I don't miss any hanging around in these all these leaves that are maybe there's one right there that I missed on the other side okay if those are starting to decay that's pretty oh, there see there's one right there let's see if it goes up any further it doesn't seem to okay that's probably all of them. I get down here and start taking off these levels. And listen to the zombies. Grrr. Logs and logs and logs. I'm going to be able to get too many more before I have to go in and make some more axes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just about out. And there we go. Okay. All right. Come back and pick these up in just a moment or two. Actually, I can just do this from out here. I can put some of these things in here. Put that in there. And I'll go around to the side over here and put my uh, farming supplies in here. I have a little bit of wheat seed there. And my hose that I made. A couple of those left. And a partial one. And up here I have my saplings. And down here I'm going to put this dirt I can use for when I need to do some more. And then I have out here sticks. And I already have cobblestone in here. So I'll just go ahead and make, uh, I think I'll make three axes because I still have quite a bit of chopping to do. Okay, what have I got there? arrows. Duh. You can't make arrows. I mean, axes out of arrows. Duh. Okay. Put the arrows back and get the sticks that were just below it. Okay. Sometimes when my eyes get tired, it kind of uh, makes a little bit of a problem. And I hear a spider that's trying to get in and get me, and he probably could. But I will get him if I have to. 
Now you can you can spider proof the top of your fences. If you put a slab along the top, um, you don't have to actually put it along the top. You just take like one of these slabs here. I'll just do this just to show you. I keep spreading out my stuff. You take a slab, and since it's on a fence, you can just attach to the top of the fence like that. And when spiders get up, they get underneath here, and they can't get over the top of the slab. So you can go around the outside of your fence, and uh, you can either put it on the top and then around, but that uses more slabs. All you got to do is just put it around the top of the fence, all the way around the outside, and that will protect you from getting any spiders inside of your fence area. And also, if you're in an area where there is slime, it will also prevent the slime from getting in. Now, if you make a wall out of cobble or something like that, just do the same thing to the cobble. And uh, if you don't want anything to spawn on top of it, of course, you want to go ahead and put your, your uh, if you're on blocks, you want to go ahead and put the um, some slabs along the top of your blocks as well, and then just go out one to the outside to uh, make it spider and slime proof. And you also want to make it at least three blocks off the ground for the slime, because um, if it's too low, they will get a grip and get up over the top of your slabs. So you want to make it high enough so that they don't they don't climb up there, because they are like suction cups. Looks like we're going to be done here really quick. Just a couple left here. Doesn't look like there's any up high. Looks like I got them all. Yay! Took, took all night. But it's a fruitful job. And all of this wood will be good for building the uh, other places in the existing village that I have to build. Three more western style buildings. And then I need to go out and uh, build my own house by a mountain. And then I need to uh, build a separate village that will exist on its own. So I need to have a lot of building supplies. And it takes a lot of wood or stone, and I can get both. There's plenty of resources underneath our, the top of these. And I shouldn't be wasting my axe on the rest of that. Just use my fist. Forget which spot my fist is in. <laughs> okay. I could just let them finish decaying on their own, but I might as well get them. There are not too many. And then I'm just going to go out and fence in another uh, farming place over here. So um, while I'm doing that, I will go away again and get that done. And when I come back, I will have that farm completely done. I'm not going to make you watch me hoe up another one. Um, it'll just be done. And then I will plant my trees on the other side of the farm. And then I'll start concentrating on getting that barn done. And then pretty soon we'll go do some more exploring and uh, build our other little house, find the lost gold mine, which is by the lake. And uh, then I can do some fishing if I want to. Okay, so I will go ahead and get inside. And then I will finish off this video and uh, see you in episode 10. Thanks for watching.